Hey guys, check out CSGO.net, a place where you can box your dream skins. Use my new code VLAD11 to get another 25% bonus on your deposit. So for example, if you deposit $100, you will get $125 on your website balance. So here, as an example, I opened Elon Musk case for $15 and managed to unbox AK, the Empress, for $88. Utility being dispersed down now. He has a lot of work to do. Sergey does all of it. Looks for the fourth, and he's got that as well. The ace aerial gives is. him the assist, even lets him drop out of range. Sergey gets all five. Left alone now. Three versus one. Surely this is where we see them get around on the board. If he gets the bomb, denied. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He actually has a chance here. This is unbelievable. Oh one versus one now. That is so sick from Sergey. Hope that they can recover this shot. This is one that Windigo oh, should no. not be picking up. A blocker. He's in with another Alu here with a Glock, but he's been finished off. And oh no, Sergey in a one v three that really never should have been. Picks up the point man in the form of blocker down and connector, but he still has a lot more left to do. Victor and ships over here on short with Sergey in with another and ship <gasps> target him down. Oh. oh, he's able to get around the corner in the nick of time. Ten seconds as he's uh, ten seconds, ten HP rather, twenty seconds on the clock, and he's punching in the numbers. Ships goes running through, and Sergey's going to hold it. So ten HP the issue there going to face is Gabe. At this B bomb site alone, desperately trying to buy time, but he's been bested. And now that bomb can look to go down. There's no smoke for the cross, though. And Valder here. We can't forget about his incredible form back on train just because he's fallen a little bit quiet now. And still have to give him that much respect. Yerby might even catch this run boost, and indeed he will. Mopping up the first man, Bomb yet to go down. And now dropped inside of the bomb site. It's Alu and Sergey left standing. Make that just Sergey. He's got to ace it if Hens want to pick up the win in this round. But if there was any man to do it, Harry, if there was any man, yeah, be first to fall. Sergey's found two, and it's only one away from the ace. And the second pistol round of this map, he knows exactly where AZ is. Bit of damage, and AZ peaks wide. It's done. Sergey's found it. They can swing and presumably take. Uh Somebody down with the cock time. Oh. And there you go, exactly that comes through. Well, Sergey swings wide. Glock comes in. It'll be picked up, but Bintet, he's been so solid on these multi kills, and he gets himself another two coming through. But Sergey gets the right read. Oh. He's got two on the AWP. And this is perfect man advantage for Ents to play with. 34 seconds. Freeman and Attacker looking for a way back into this round. Ball planted. Time ticking. And Freeman and Attacker look to try and get back onto the side. But Sergey continuing to deliver with the sniper. It's all on Freeman. A one versus three. Moving forward. Sergey hungry for his fourth. And there it is. The ace comes in. It's Sergey delivering. Something is just not right here, Jamie. Ooh. Ents. Oh no. Alu getting a little too aggressive right there. He wanted to just get the win. Oh no, Sergey! What did I just witness? Of course, on high alerts as you will hear the, hear the running. There's the first challenge. Beautiful from Sergey. Absolutely fantastic! And he gets another one out of it. That should have been guaranteed for Keycurt. Here we go. We'll see how this pans out. No one coming in hall, so that CZ not going to be put into play quite yet. But Boiler. Oh, they line up for Sergey, and he gets a third. It's over. Shuts it down. Oh my god! But his position is so clever. He can sneak out behind Twist. That's an AK upgrade as well. There's kits on both Liquid players, but Sergey is waiting. He's gonna wait and walk. He wants to deny the defuse. He spots it, he sees it, headshot on the first run. The down knows he's inside of the smoke, gets the AK, oh! it, and he does everything perfectly, absolutely perfectly to give Ents 14. Sergey, can, can he hold on? Can he just get a couple of kills? That could be enough for Ents to take this first map in the quarterfinals. He's waiting, biding his time to strike, and strike he shall with three kills! Naflice, Dewey and Liege all get obliterated. Liquid are being evaporated in front of our very eyes. Next up, has got to be really careful. Such a long range. Oh, that's that really sucks. I don't know what else <laughs> to say. That really sucks. That's the drawback of the SMGs, the damage fall off, and... It's uh, notoriously inaccurate as well, the MAC-10, but now we've got the one versus one. 25 seconds on the clock. Does Sergey have an idea? They've both got AK-47s. Chris J waiting for the right timing. He swings out, but Sergey's got the spray. Do they not realize Sergey's here? They must have heard him shooting the AK, surely. No, they definitely do. Next close range from Bank doesn't expect a double stack. Next seven can thank his lucky stars, but up close next gets him. Is this really happening? Sergey spins around on a swivel. Needs to turret his way in. 
He's got a smoke. I'm not sure if he realizes this, now he does. He's gonna try and draw out next into the open, and Sergey, for such a young man, they're getting wrapped around from so many different angles, and there goes Sonny finally. The defense starting to crumble. Yes, it is. And there was an awkward moment there. Lucas was actually at the back line with the bomb alone. He's low on health, and it's going to go down right then and there. Seven will find him. Another headshot would have been wonderful, but that's not going to be possible instead now. Sergey on his own in the one versus two. He's trying to creep on in. That P2000 rings through, and the follow up is amazing. That's a great double kill and a clutch. The CTs are beginning to surround them, and. It is just a matter of time until they try to burst onto that bomb site together. Now Frops is in position, very precise once again, takes down X7 as the rest of his teammates now start to make their way forward to in the market area at this point in time. Rops has been dealt with, so that does help, does give some kind of a chance here, but Sergei's got to go huge again, and he may just do that! There we go, four kills for Sergei, he's done it, what a beautiful clutch from him, it didn't look possible. Just that little bit of time. Zipix knew surely where they were coming from. Nate should get him. Should, but will he find the kill first? Sorge, 17 years of age to try and keep them alive, not concede overtime point. Let's off already down on top. He can force Dupree back, but he actually just walks forward. Low HP. He's got it. Does he have the time? He's got he the kitty will. He should. And it's going to be so close. He's going to be extremely close, but they'll get number eight. Quite a high success ratio of actually winning this round. It's first kill. Going to be here's no problem with space. It's terrible from Movistar there, like... Sergey one versus two, knows where the players are now, he's got a one versus one with Zipex, he's not shy, Maj is coming in for support, trying to avoid getting headshot Sergey, moving towards that Gandalf position, time to reload, the CTs close the distance, but that is to Sergey's advantage as well, with the distance of the Glock, there's a big, oh that's huge from Sergey, takes out Magis with a headshot. Most recent rounds have been really good from the back of the Ivy train, playing within the yard, making it really tough for Ensign, cleaning up these lurks, but now we're in the clutch, young Sergey. The question is, oh man, does he predict that it's going to be Z? And he nearly finds him with just the minute amount of timing. Sergey's going to get tagged by the nade and he hears the footsteps. This is their best shot in a while. This is a must win for the Swedes now. Roland responsible for the door. The smoke won't last forever. Sunny's going to take the first fight. It's big. Sunny's on the way in. Bomb's still not down. Where is it? Golden's done it. Bomb in. Disadvantage now, though, as N start to push. Rather coordinated as well. JW in prime position for more than one. It has to be. Does catch Allo as well before Sergey gets to him. A one versus one. Looking for a second frag. Sergey, the flash is good. It causes Crims to turn, and he converts. Accounting that Neo would be there to trade. Nearly goes beyond his Olaf. But things go back and forth in this round again. Oh. And finally, someone gets back-to-back -back kills as Sergey takes out Neo. We saw against G2 yesterday, FaZe really struggle with CT kills in that position. Guardian goes down. They have so many angles to check, and this is, as we say, this is where the pistols are most deadly. Sergey giving oh. some love to the Tech 9, but not giving love the way of Valiance, as he completely decimates this retake. Nex is left in a 1v4, and there's nothing he can do. He's sent back into the depths from which he came. Sergey cementing the 4K. Separated for quite some time. Now he just has to hold on just for enough time. That is beautiful, though. Takes down Glaive. The trade comes in. The bomb. Oh, Zipix can just hold it, but he doesn't realize. He doesn't realize. Sergei's in position. Like already losing Ariel, going a man down, and now Alu desperately trying to close this gap and close that man advantage. Yeah, Sergei already tapping away on the site. He will get one, but he's being overrun. Four players on the other side. He finds a second. No way Sergei's going to do this. Holding down the line for his team of. No. Already a no. Already finding Alu before he can step out. Sergey, great positioning and enough support that he can actually get back in behind the boxes. They can't chase him down freely. And when they do, he's ready for the fight. Back for more. Again, a third, perhaps Neo tagged. Dink, that's enough for Ariel to close out onto him. A guardian. That can also get, well, it can't even get smoked off anymore. Time, only Molotov left. Time's going to be an issue, Anders. 35 seconds. They're just now walking in towards Connector. These kills have to be clean from MIBR. They even run for the smoke. There's Alexi B taking the face right off of her. And now Sergey up on the ticket booth, taking down Seuss. He was trying to get that opening. He had the Molotov and everything. It was a good idea, but it kind of fell flat. Now Lucas goes down and Fallen is next, and Sergey just having it. Um, Adren said he didn't really prepare for Simon, so maybe they were kind of sandbagging almost by accident. Anyway, Ents are going to have something to do with on the B bomb site. Almost everyone with Kevlar, they have a kit though, and they're doing well so far with Sergey getting two kills, trying to hold down this bomb site. Three players around the pillar now for the T's, and they don't really have any angles. The crossfires are great for Ents, and they won't lose a single player. Gonna get a free one, Zaiwoo. 
And look, Shox wants to punish him. He's got the first and not the second. Couldn't land the headshot. Nice response from Sergey. Another advantage found by Entz. But towards the B-bomb site we go, the hit is on very early in the round. That's a beautiful flashbang to take down. It's Seven Sunny out in the open as well. And it will be Apex to open it up. Alex was the one who threw the flashbang in the background. And that is... I mean, they had to do that. They lost all map control. Apex, he's got the right idea. And Alu nearly goes down. He's nearly got both those kills. But now instead... Alex, the one to try and see if he could keep it in the round here. And instead, Sergei comes to the quad kill. And Entz will be able to retake the bomb site. That is... There are no kits in play. And actually, Shox will get one more kill. And now it's on Sergei. All the help in the world. He takes care of one. The flashbang. And so much pressure. And again, it's a 10 second defuse. And it won't even happen. Sergei will take him down. It is nearing the end, isn't it? Entz, really, really quick to take over ramp. But how long? GG's already dropped. Yeah. Oh. That's actually impressive. Not only does he get the kill, he know he saw he saw them sort of backing off. Because I think that would have been a great fake. Otherwise, now they're back in towards the A bomb site. Amanek here, hitting one good headshot. Can't get the follow-up. Sergey with a double instead. And now Alu controlling Mini at least for a minute here. It's a three on three, and the bomb will go down. And because That's Kenny and Shocks or Kenny and Shocks, I think, dropped so quick, they're not in position to actually help that upper bomb site. There was no rotation coming at any one point during all that. Shark's just gonna try now. Well, try and succeed. Down to the low ground. Sergey, third headshot of the round for him. See how much more he's got in him. One more in there. It's gonna be the quad kill for him. And now Alu taking a fight. Is he gonna win it? He's got a couple of more bullets to work with. And I think Kenny, he needed to get that first kill immediately. Now walking into a crossfire. No ace, but. Oh! Sergey doubles it up. <laughs> RPK gone. He's moving all the way around through the T spawn, trying to come up connector behind them. But this means that Sergey has to delay as much time as oh. he possibly can. The one flash already thrown out. Well, the tap is there. They haven't exactly checked just yet. Eventually, they will. Somebody, oh. and they line up for Sergey. He needs to be very careful because RPK is lying in wait, and now it's all on Apex. So let's see if he can get not get the kill. Apex has done enough there. He's got one. This is going to allow a two-on-two -two situation. Both players, RPK and Zywoo, lots of grenades in the back pocket. Diffuse kit in RPK's hands as well. Both channeling up Banana here. Well, they smoke required. They're, they're, they're doing a B execute on the CT side. That's kind of clever, actually. <laughs> it's one way to get you in. Like, if you know you're retaking and you have an idea as to where they are, sure, why not? But, oh, missed shot. I was going to say, they've got to get in still. It's going to be Sergey to shut them down. And oh, and that's a great flick shot from Ali. There's more to be had as well. He turns his back. Doesn't know necessarily how many more players will be coming from that position. And Sergey. Oh dear, what an off angle there. Sergey with a double there, finding the next player in connector, and now it's Orman. I don't think he's been spotted, but he's got a lot of players coming his way, and he will go down. Even with the current uh, state of affairs with T pistols, this is where Sergey just gets three kills for himself in more senses than one. But Batsy gets three kills in general, but his teammate is ready to challenge along. That's young Sergey. He takes the bomb down. Has he got anything left in the tank? Of course he has. This guy is world class. Excellent skill. He's got the bomb towards long, and he's not stopping anytime soon. We're into the gaming hours, as some people would say, the late night in which our owl mind possesses its best.